Uh, welcome to the Six Deck Farmstead. Uh, today I'm painting my honey supers um, in the, my basement today. It's a little colder outside today. It's not really the kind of weather I want to be painting in. Uh, too cold to actually be painting, so I'm brought it inside here. Got the drop cloths out and everything else to be good to go for painting. Uh, <clears throat> some people may be inquiring what kind of paint do you use. Me personally, what I use, um, I go to Home Depot. This isn't a product endorsement. This is just what I utilize, I'm being honest with you, is bare. Uh, Barn and fence paint, livestock safe, water based, um, and exterior paint. I usually do a couple, <coughs> couple coats on uh, all my uh, hardware, woodware. I've already used. I almost got one guy. I'm gonna try to finish this one off here. But basically, we're talking about uh, painting the supers, painting the boxes themselves. So, bare livestock paint. It is off the shelf white. You can probably get it tinted if you want to. Um, I haven't. I just stick with what's the white works for me. Um, so, if you want to tenant, you probably check with a paint uh, customer service person, and they'll work with you there. So, <coughs> uh, painting, I use an inch and a uh, inch and a half brush. Um, one thing to keep in mind is painting. All, I've already built these boxes a couple of days ago. The paint, uh, glue's already dried on them, so uh, shouldn't have the issues with the, the glue interfering with paint. Um, one thing to keep in mind is you never want to paint the inside of your hive box. You always want to leave it as natural as possible, natural wood. Uh, so basically I'm just going to paint the outside box here. If you get a little bit of paint on the edge, it's not going to be an issue. Just let the boxes dry. If you want to scrape the heavy paint, just scrape it off with a utility knife or a paint scraper. Um, but we're trying to prevent the, any of the paint getting inside. There's no need to paint the inside of the boxes. Um, like I said, these are honey super boxes. So I think what you can do this with your your deep boxes, your shallow supers, your nukes, anything. We're just painting the outside. So this is what I do here. Um, first thing I do is get some paint on the brush. Don't need a lot. I use about half, half, fill up about half the brush. And I usually paint the inside of the hands holds first here because it has a little recess that goes up. This is we're putting two coats of paint on here. If you miss a little bit, it's not a big deal, but we're trying to get everything covered. Right, so you hold it up, and I work on the edges where the end grain is. Usually, I have to work the paint in there a little bit. Basically, we're just painting this thing to seal all the wood pores. Don't need to put a super heavy glob of paint on it. Just make sure you stir your paint too beforehand when you get it. So all the pigments and all the elements of the paint are fairly thoroughly mixed. Even though I may shake it, just always still stir it to give the paint sticks to go into it. <coughs> so I'm gonna move the next step here. It says get some paint on there. First thing to do, do the handholds. Should work these edges here. It says I have a, a drop cloth down here right now on the tables. This for this next part is remove it. We're moving to a painted surface here. I'm not going to set the box on the painted surface. All I'm doing is setting it on this painted, it's just this for, little edge here. I'm going to be resting the edge right on the drop cloth. I shouldn't be making any contact with the drop cloth to get the paint on there to lose paint on the surface. Just tilt it a little bit and work it. These are, uh, these boxes here are the commercial grade boxes, um, they cost a little bit less than a standard box. I'm not staining the box, I'm not worried about the element I'm painting over it anyways. Save a, a few, um, save a few dollars actually and, and buying the commercial grade boxes there. Uh, they make a budget grade also, but the commercial grade has solid knots in them. 
Uh, this paint will help hold them, hold, hold these knots if they have to come loose, but everything should be pretty solid. They shouldn't really come out a lot anyways. Basically, when I'm done each side there, and this is just habit, even from painting trim or even walls in my own home, um, I paint side to side there, make sure all the edges blend in there. So from there, I can hold my hands inside the box. Um, see, completely, oops, completely done. Yeah, I didn't make no contact or anything here. So I split it. This is don't have any paint inside the box. Like I said, you may get a little bit of paint on the edge here, uh, even on the back side there. Just wait for the box to completely dry. Um, and I wouldn't do this until you have to do your second coat. I put two coats on everything um, and scrape it off there, saying it if need be. But I just take a paint scraper, utility knife. It's not going to really change anything. The main thing is the inside of the box. If you get a little paint here, it's not going to hurt hurt the bees. But I don't usually put any kind of paint or anything inside the, inside the box there. So if you haven't already, um, please subscribe to my channel and if you don't mind give me a thumbs up still got more videos more ideas more things to put out there so um, until next time talk later bye